Funtown presents Fact or Fiction. Where did we catch that bastard Bill O'Reilly lying again? Oh, wait, Bill, hold still. Allow me to soil myself on you. Victory is mine! Yes, Bill O came off the tracks again Tuesday night in a rant split evenly between the two avenging angels who haunt his dreams, Air America Radio and MSNBC. Écoutez et traduisez, as they said in French class. If you've read any of my books, which uh, one, the softcore porn novel that was reviewed on Amazon as a real load in the pants, or the advice book for kids that came out just as the Andrea Macris scandal broke? If you've read any of my books, you know I believe in karma. Do bad things, you'll get yours eventually. Now you know why I'm here, Bill. You've done bad things. Do good things, you'll be rewarded. Recently, two bad guys got theirs. Here, Bill went off into some story about management changes at Air America, a radio network he called Disastrous, which I understand was the birth name of D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. He eventually meandered towards the point. We believe there is major chaos at that far left concern. As an aside, Bill, who's this we you always talk about? You and Ann Coulter? You and your multiple personalities? You and your loofah? It's also major chaos at MSNBC where Rick Kaplan has left. Bill made another funny. See, by overemphasizing the word left, he is sending a subtle signal to the dim bulbs in his audience that former MSNBC president Rick Kaplan might have had personal political beliefs that tended towards liberal or left. Bill invented the term. Where Rick Kaplan has left after pretty much destroying that place. Bill boy. Billo. Hey. Over here. Back in reality-based reality. -based reality. The latest ratings have come out. From a year ago to right now, MSNBC's ratings are up 12% overall, 13% among viewers 25 to 54, and at the hour you and I are on head-to-head, -head, we're up 37% and you're down 20% and... I know, I'm sorry, too many numbers in there. You were assured there would be no math. Closing in on its 10th anniversary, MSNBC's ratings are lower than they were six years ago, which might be... Ridiculous. You just sort of got lost in that last sentence, huh, Bill? Listen, Slappy, Fox's ratings are lower than they were five years ago. Billo, 267,000 of your nightly viewers have vanished since last June. Call Fox Security, they're missing. All 11 of Fox's regular show's ratings are down. Four of them are down by 15% or more. If John Gibson loses any more audience, he won't even need a microphone. And your boss, Jabba the Hutt, he's taken out ads threatening to fire his own employees. Your ratings whoopin' stick is now smaller than your falafel. Bill, seriously, it's slipping away from you. You don't know what to do. You can't even lie well anymore. Seriously, I understand. It's called panic. Like what happened to you in Scranton and Hartford and Boston with that thing with the egg on Zippy, the sportscaster's face, and at ABC when Rick Kaplan got you fired. It's terrifying. You begin to see the audience dying off and the creases deepening in your forehead and the loofahs drying up. You make mistakes, you trust the wrong people, you blame Al Franken, you yell at somebody, you yell at everybody. It feels like the ladder is teetering, you're tired, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're balding. Let me give you three words of advice, Billo. Keep it up! 